Hi there. Good morning. Happy Friday. Welcome to what possibly could be the last installment of the magazine challenge. Um, I'm going to do a few things on camera today. I'm going to do a few things off camera and sort of put my last little things into uh, Miss Nicolette here. And um, and then probably the next time you see her is when we do a flip through of her. Uh, Melody, thank you for suggesting it because I've been calling her Nicolette, um, but it, it's a story of romance. So obviously, Aucassin um, was her, uh, her uh, paramour, <laughs> I guess. And uh, Melody said, uh, wouldn't it be cute if, uh, if his little name was Aucassin <laughs> and she's Nicolette? <laughs> So I like that very much. <laughs> and I, he's, he's actually been Okasan in my head ever since. <laughs> um, it could be Okasin. I, I, I need someone French to give me a um, phonetic way to know how to pronounce it. Like, I know that most of the world pronounces Celine Dion's name wrong because they call her Celine Dion, and her name is actually Celine Dion. Celine, not Celine. So there you go, and I'm quite sure I am butchering Aucassin. We will see. I'm sure someone will know. Now, I have a few things to do, and my first thing is, is to give you something to laugh about because I, oh, I'm going to need Nicolette here and so I can show you. So I wanted to do a tuck spot. I want to do a pretty tuck spot. I just wanted it to be a full length and I loved her. And uh, so I thought she's going in, she's going to be, hold on, there we go. She's going to be a tuck spot. And I love how she's demurely looking over her shoulder and uh, I went to all the work. I, I sort of had to adjust how I fussy cut her so that she'd be able to hold papers underneath her and uh, glue her down and then glue her in. Very happy, very thrilled. And then I was needing some more things. So I started going through my papers and trying to remember what else I want. And then in flipping over things, and you'll remember the tiny little mother's lecture I offered up the other day. Look who I chopped up. My my sassy kicky lady, who I've been talking about since <sighs> since I started, Nicolette. Sassy kicky lady lost her leg and an elbow. <sighs> oh well. That's what happens. It's dangerous work doing journals. Clearly, you can lose a leg and an elbow in uh, the process. So that leaves me her to work with. And look how careful I was to uh, make sure I didn't cut the corner off of her, um, the end of her dress. So careful. And meanwhile, chop. <sighs> well, I have a few things to work on. I did... Um, I put a backing on, where did you go? Because I got, I got, um, I got my laxative card ready. Oh, jeepers. There, I got it backed. I got it ready to go for licks and laxatives. And I thought I might fussy cut this lady and put her on it. Uh, sort of, so she's like Nicolette's mom. Nicolette is decided to summer in Marseille, and uh, her mother is saying, "Now, dear, don't forget your licks and laxative. You can't be caught without it. All that rich food, you know." So I think I'm going to put her on the licks and laxative. So I want to do that. Oh, let's get you out of the way. I made some. Um, I made some tags from the other chapters that were still in the book. Uh, I just, I glued two pages together and 
um, cornered them. They're going to go as is with Nicolette to her new home so that the new her new owner can enjoy making some journaling tags if they want. But I wanted to just do a little bit of um, stenciling across um, across the end. And I'm going to do a bit of green. I'm going to do two with green and two with blue. Now I don't I don't use these tiny little green and blue um, distress inks very often. So rather than lose an entire makeup sponge to one color, I have one side for green and I have one side for blue. And uh, it actually works quite nicely. So I'm just going to pounce and just give a little hint of color to this with no rhyme or reason where the end is and then um, make it darker along the edge. And that way they'll be ready to go for maybe collaging on. Maybe they'll, that person will want to just glue on a journaling spot on there. Um, we'll see. So let's do two with green and then we'll do two with blue. And I'm going to put them aside so that they're ready for their new home someday. I'm gonna get a little bit of time today. I have to do a bit of running around. I have to go to the accountant and take some more paperwork over for my mother's estate. It's beautiful here today. The heat wave broke and it is really, really lovely. It's like, to me, perfect summer weather. The sun's not too strong, the heat's not too Hot, the humidity is gone. We really get humidity where I live. Oh, that looks pretty. All right, now I want to do it with blue. So I'm just gonna flip it around. I'll probably make my arm green in doing this. That's okay. Blue, oh. Maybe I'll do the other side. Mm -hmm. I got these great big stencils from, I believe it's called the Dark Room Door, um, a craft supplier in Australia. And I'm in Canada. And I've got to tell you, they were fantastic to work with. It was here in no time. It came halfway around the world in the middle of a pandemic. And I think it took one week to get, I got three of these great big stencils. Um, I got them, I thought, to work in my own altered book, altered journal. Oh, that looks nice. Um, but I've actually used them a few times in this journal, so that's nice. Our world opens up today. Wahoo! We, uh, we are officially in level one, which means stores, non-essential stores can open again, and um, they, they still have to count heads. They can't have full capacity. Um, and Hubby and I uh, will go and get our second shot this afternoon at 3 o'clock. That's wonderful. All right, there we go. So those look nice. I'm just going to send these as is. 
and then the new owner can um, use them to play with or or discard them if, if it's not their thing. But I like those. And I'm going to work on um, the last of these. I've got to make my Tampax add one. I've got to do my laxative add. There are a few little fussy cuts, a few little things that I want to fussy cut and just simply lay them down on a page, glue them down on a page. Isn't he handsome? He needs to go in. So those, that's what I mean by I'm mostly at the stage of details. And then I've still got to decide where I want to put just a little hint. It's pretty good. <laughs> Uh, where I want to put a little, little hint of um, lace. There we go. All right, so this one's almost ready. Let's just do it. Let's fussy cut mom here. I'm going to pause so I don't waste precious 30 minutes. Hold on. Okay, so she is fussy cut. I want her edges inked. husband has noticed um, there are definitely more people going back into work uh, certainly from last summer and even just because now our numbers are so much better um, my husband commutes into Toronto every day to work and um, the rush hour traffic on the highway that stretches across Toronto, the 401. Apparently, you would think that New York or Los Angeles would be worse. Apparently, the 401 in Toronto is the biggest and the worst highway in North America. <laughs> At one point, it is 16 lanes across. It's huge. And... Uh, and it can actually, two times a day, be bumper to bumper for hours on end with rush hour traffic. It was so poorly planned, and it's such a nightmare. <sighs> and my poor fella gets stuck in it every day, and he's got no choice um, as far as um, some people would say, well, take the bus, take the train, take the subway. Uh, he cannot because of what his industry is. He actually needs the vehicle that he's in. Um, now they, um, but it's not always doable. Uh, anyhow, he's really noticed the drive home now is bad. Okay, I was thinking of putting Nicolette's mother on the front, but I think I'm going to put her on the back where the journaling is. And I have this last, I wanna add color wherever I can because the age of this magazine I the one I picked but I picked it and I'm almost done uh, very little color in it. it I mean 1949 come on I think it did well I guess for its age anyhow um, this blue here actually has handwriting on it so I just imagine Nicolette's mom she's got a great big spoon handy so that Nicolette can take her uh, her licks on if she gets um, backed up wherever she is traveling off to. And I imagine her mother has written her a note saying, now dear, don't forget your lixen. So, <laughs> so I'm going to just give this a little bit of a torn edge and put it underneath mama there. 
and uh, I think that will look really really cute oh and it even says summer summer when you it could be summer when you find yourself a bit backed up dear <laughs> then uh, you know, don't forget your lixen All right, so if I put, I like that summer word. Where is mother? There's mother. All right, pencil. All right. There has been, and this is new for me, and I rather like the look, just for, just to be different, no sewing in this journal. I didn't want to, I knew I was, when I figured out how many pages I was squeezing into this, I did not want to uh, add any more uh, to the bulk because my space is precious. And even stitching will bulk up uh, a journal. So you, oh, you have to be very careful about it. This will be mostly a writer's journal. But I don't know, maybe it'll be someone who's gone on a trip somewhere and they want to write about it or spending their summer somewhere. Just giving this a little dimension. There we go. So if I glue that down, let me bring that over. If I glue that down, there's the love note from Mama. And let's put her there. I think I want to bring it in a bit. Oh, of course, guess what? I'm going to sneeze. Ugh. Two sneezes. There's got to be another one. Sneezes always come in threes. Sneezes come in threeses. Yeah, that's better. Just a tiny little bit, but it'll leave more space to write on the back. All right. Glue stick. So I'm looking forward tomorrow. My thrift stores will not be open yet. Um, you know what? I'm all over the place in time sense because I know you're going to watch this on Friday and it's actually Thursday. So I'm trying to say some things in real time that I actually will be doing on Friday. Um, but I will not actually be going to any thrift stores on Friday. Um, because my thrift stores don't open until next Tuesday. Um, there we go. But I'm looking forward to going even just to Dollar Tree um, because of the rules, and I fully support the, the rules that they implemented. It took them the third lockdown to get it right. Some companies have just been making money hand over fist during this lockdown. Stores like Walmart that sell everything. They closed down the little non-essential stores that specialize in things. So someone who normally maybe would go to a, a, a birthday's coming up anyways. You've got to get a gift. You want or you'd like to get a gift. The little shop you might normally go to in town is not allowed to be open so what do you do you go to Walmart because Walmart's open because it sold groceries it was allowed to be open 
So they finally smartened up with this lockdown and uh, stores that sold essentially go essential goods had to rope off their non-essential goods and they were not allowed to sell them. So even stores like Dollar Tree and Dollarama, uh, there were aisles were completely roped off if it was if the items on that aisle were non-essential, um, which is good. Oh, she looks terrific. I don't think I want to bulk it up with anything more. I think I just want. I think I just want it like that. Oh, maybe she can fit behind the lady who ended up uh, amputating the elbow and leg of my kicky lady. She could go in there. Oh, look. Only the very gentlest laxative. Okay, that's got its home. <laughs> All right, now I wanted to show you something before I run out of time. Um, I'm really guarding my Tampax ad. It's just the perfect shape for a bookmark. And I really want it. But I love this ad. Beauty in a Mist. Kent Magic Mist. And... I'd like to be able to do it on a spread. So put the spray and this lady's hair on one side of the page and put the Kemp Mist on the other side of the page. But I worried about my Tampax ad. But when I hold it up to the window, I have just enough room to go under the Tampax ad right there but be over the top of the bottle of the Kemp Mist. So I can have, I can have both. I can have my Kemp and Tampax too. So I'm going to do that now. And then the next time you see Miss Nicolette, she will be, uh, She'll be looking lovely. There we go. We got it. And then, see? Woohoo! Saved the whole thing. Now, Tampax is going to need long. I've got a whole bunch of. Uh, file folder offcuts that I want to try and use up when, whenever possible. Um, so, oh, good. That will fit right on there. So that will be there. I want to do, let me tell you all the things I plan on doing before my camera goes off. This was one of the other few pages that has a bit of color. I'm not sure if I'm going to use the color, but I do want her and uh, I plan on actually making her a flip up, like I learned from the journal that Camille sent to me. I love those flip ups that were in the, the journal that Camille sent. So I'm going to make her into a flip up. And then I have a few other little things that I just want to include. I love this picture of the, little, the two little girls. So I don't know whether I'm just going to make it look like a photo or whether I'm going to use the whole ad. I have this because it was just after wartime, so things were still precious. And I just thought, my goodness, isn't that perfect for those of us who make junk journals from repurposed uh, papers and um, trims and things? Because it says, lost, stolen, or strayed, many tons of waste paper. Have you had a thorough search from basement to attic for that precious salvage this month? And I thought, wow, that's what we do. That's what we do right there. So that's going in to Nicolette. What else is going in? Again, some of these things may simply be fussy cut and put onto a page just as a little decor. I love her. I think she's ready to go out for the evening. And uh, I just love her. So those are my plans. I don't think I have any other. Oh, no, I want to make use of this shoe. 
Yes, I hear you. Oh, and there was an ad for brassiers. I love this because it goes against everything I've done for the past year. All right, all right, all right. Um, it says here, for the foundation of figure lovely, for the foundation of figure loveliness, wear a brassiere. <laughs> well, <laughs> my brassieres got put away in like March of 2020. <laughs> Uh, I don't want to have to get them out again. <laughs> Start having to do adult human things in the real world. Oh well, everything comes to an end. All right. Well, I'm going to put these aside. I'm going to, I'm going to get through them. I'm going to find ways to use up the last of my pink. I have a little bit of that watercolor. I have quite a bit of this blue. And uh, oh, and I've got some of the blue over here. So I'm going to find ways to use these up and make uh, this journal just, just a pretty little journal by the time it's done. So the next time we get together, you're actually going to get to see Nicolette from beginning to end. Take care. Have a great rest of your day. And uh, thanks for visiting with me. We'll talk soon.